Margrave and his lady fair sat on their throne and in silence stared at Augustine and Constantine as the world turned around them as if in a dream. Well, then the Margravine she spoke in a voice that was weighted with emotion so deep that it reverberated around the throne room that generated awe and wonder venerated. Audible gasps from all those gathered round, for ne'er before had they e'er heard the sound of the Margravine's sweet voice. She rose from her seat, touched her Margrave's dear face, suffused with happiness and the light of grace. Then she turned and walked down the carpeted stairs and knelt before Constantine and Augustine Fair. She took their hands and placed them both on her heart with tearful eyes shining bright as the stars in a crystal clear voice strangely intonated. Your coming has long been awaited as a hostage yearns to be liberated, a seed patiently waits to be propagated, as thoughts and ideas come to be created, your pearls of wisdom to us you have stated, for all of your words be food for thought, poetic in rhyme and metaphor, in philosophy and in parody, your words a song of lilting melody. How can I thank you, the dear lady asked. Whatever you ask, I will take to task. For you have restored me not just to myself, but to my beloved and kingdom as well. Your happiness be all the reward we do seek. Now we must in regret take our leave. We have a performance at the Opera Comique And we must be there before the end of the week Dearest lady, do not weep For your tears of joy in our hearts we keep Pray wait, the Margrave spake Let me help find a way For I have received this very day A gift of such riches My sweet lady's voice A gift truly precious I weep and rejoice. Let me bestow upon you silks and gems for your hair, for you be such a wondrous, wondrous pair. Raiments were brought in the blink of an eye, trimmed with white ermine, midnight blue as the sky. Jewels, gold and emerald were heaped upon a red flying carpet in the shape of the sun. They bid their farewells with thanks and with tears. Augustine and her bella dear. They stepped onto the carpet and flew away, ne'er to forget this wonderful day. In no time they arrived at the opera comique. Both were quite breathless, rose blush on their cheeks. Donning their costumes with jewels in their hair, they walked onto the stage lighter than air to relate their marvelous story to those who at the end of their tale all clapped and rose. Everybody bowed to the couple on the stage from the front row to the balustrade. Augustine and Constantine held up their hands and in a voice that could be heard all the way to the stands, she said, We thank you all for coming tonight Beneath the moon dial and its silvery light We hope with our hearts, with diamond and sight With our pearls of wisdom we did delight So having said this, they took their leave Constantine and Augustine And in their hearts they did believe their string of pearls of wisdom were heard. Yet not by everyone you mind, but at least of those not deaf nor blind. For a pearl of wisdom be one of a kind, with insight to inspire.